Hi, it's Stephanie, and I wanted to show you how to create a spotlight effect that's really quite flexible in terms of being able to highlight anything, any portion of the slide, and using any shape that you wish to use to create that effect. So typically we see this effect here where you're working with a circle and you're kind of creating a spotlight in a certain area of a slide. So, and that's cool, that's, that's uh, very acceptable. But with this technique, you can also use, if you wanted, um, a star. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. You can use any of the drawing tool shapes to, to uh, create this effect. You could even make it a little bit more casual. This is just a freeform effect, so I just kind of quickly drew a bit of a circle around the area, and it creates a kind of a neat, interesting uh, effect by itself there too. And of course you're not limited to just one area. You can do this for multiple areas of the screen. As you can see, this kind of creates a bit of a bullet hole effect <laughs> um, on this slide. And then you can also use this as a treatment, a graphic treatment, perhaps for a section break or an introduction to a section where you know one, one piece of the slide is brighter than the rest and then some titling to um, create a bit of a section break or a title page. So let me show you how I created this. So you just work with whatever your slide content is. You've got your, in this case, I just have an image, a winter scene image on the slide. And then the first step is just grab your rectangle tool. So uh, draw a rectangle over the entire area of the slide, right click, and you want to fill that with black. So just a solid black fill. And then you can play around with the transparency depending on how dramatic you want that spotlight effect to be. But I'm going to say about 40% uh, for what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to grab any tool. So I'll just use the circle to make it simple. So the circle tool, and then I just draw a circle over the area that I want to spotlight. So I want to spotlight the lawn chairs. So I'll just draw a circle over that area, double click on the circle, fill it with white, and then um, turn the outline off. Now grab both the circle and the rectangle, control X to copy them, or sorry, cut them off the slide and then choose your Paste Special menu to bring it back in as a solid PNG file. Now from here, double click on that image, choose Recolor, set the transparent color, and just click anywhere in the white circle that you've created, and that punches through um, and create, creates a spotlight effect. So it's as easy as that, you can see that you could use, again, any tool and any number of, of highlighted areas on a single slide, from one to whatever, <laughs> whatever you need. Now in addition, you can also create an animation effect here that's kind of cool. So if you just double click on that PNG file and say add an entrance effect of magnify, it creates that kind of effect. Now that's going a little slow and with screen uh, with screener it's probably going to come across a little bit jerky too but in real life it actually plays back nice and smooth and that's a little fast. So let me just take that to, from very fast just to fast and you see the effect there. So you can animate this as well. And there you go, uh, multi-focus spotlight effects in PowerPoint.